Hey everyone, welcome to part one of my tutorial on using Swift to build your very own iOS applications. My name is Jack Watson Hamlin, and let me quickly show you what you'll get in part one. When you generate a new master detail application in Xcode, you get this app that you see here on the screen. How is it actually working though? And what are some of the minor details in the code generated for you? This in-depth tutorial you have here in part one is going to answer those two questions for you in great detail without getting boring, of course, so that you're ready to move on to part two and making this app your own. And a quick tip, make sure you take a look at the links to further documentation throughout this tutorial as well. I'll let you get into reading and I'll see you in part two.